Let's boogie. We are now able to leave this place safe in the knowledge that we have found everything that we ever need to, ever. So I guess we actually just, um, travel right back there directly. Let's just, uh, let's just go, right? There's nothing else. What's this? In the saddle. No, yes, that's the race course. Travel. Travel, travel, travel. I wonder how long this loading time will be. Long enough for a sip of Pepsi. But not long enough for two. Cool. Uh, let's see. What's this down here? Guardian Spirit, Flashpoint. So you have a Guardian Spirit, but... Well, I guess it's just passive. Never mind. It should only be flashing up when I'm at low health, though. So I need Bronn, who's in this house over here, I believe. You keep getting a fright whenever you stand there, then maybe don't stand there anymore. Run here? There he is. If those refugees are going to defend themselves, they'll need real defenses. I've got a few ideas. Right, right, right. Got gotcha. you. Farewell. You're right. I actually need to go to the war table in order to do that. I'm not fine with. Um, let's see. So we're horse racing then. Hey there. Nicely done. Fancy another race? Yes. Set up the next course. Great. Go get mounted. I'll put up the stake straight away. Okie dokie. Yes, I have remembered about my horse. Let me just make sure. There's a bit of desync there, so I'm like, just make sure I'm absolutely definitely in sync. Here's my horse. Will I call you again? I'll call you Jackson. Jackson the horse. So it's uh it's this way, it's left. Da da dun da da dun da da dun 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 da da dun da da dun da da dun This is a nice race course. These aren't particularly intense though, because the horse doesn't go very fast and even my movement's quite straight up and down. Like is learning how up and down like there's a reason guys should wear, you know. When guys are riding horses, the horse should definitely wear a saddle. There is absolutely a reason for that. But this is very smooth. It's like riding in a Buick. Ah, but this could shorten my time. These races are really just about being aware of where the next checkpoint is going to be and planning accordingly. There's no sprint function to manage for like the sake of time or anything. Ta-da! All done. Pay me. Better go off, better go off, better go off. <laughs> Thanks, Jackson. Nicely done. Fancy another race? Sure. Set up the next course. Great. Go get mounted. I'll put up the stake straight away. Yeah, I still don't like the name Jackson for you. It's a bit hard to say with hay fever. Okay, I'll call you, um... <laughs> I'll call you Bethany. <laughs> I don't know why. Something about your hair. And away! Ah, the same race, but backwards. Shit. Go, go, go. Move, fox. Move or die. That's what I say all day, every day. I drive a tractor. <laughs> Ah, growing arms and legs. Maybe we'll get attacked in this one. That will spice it up. Otherwise, it's just kind of relaxing. <laughs> Not even an audience to applaud me. Q. 
Okay, it's down here. Whoop, okay, no, it's fine. Just, just, no, you've, you've gone to what mode? Shit! The greatest... Is there no time limits? I'm pretty sure the first one had a time limit. I don't see it here, though. Oh, what, whatever. Well, here we are back again. It's not even a race, it's just a walk. You're tricking me into walking my horse because you know I've been neglecting them. I admire intelligent woman. I'll be dipped. You've mastered every course I set up. <laughs> cool. Thanks. That was some riding. Thanks. Great. So have I done it? <laughs> I guess so. Okay. Uh, right, find the mercenary fortress? No. Just having a quick check. Apostate caches? No. Fade rift clothes? No. Rift on the farm? No, I'm not there yet. Um, almost all the camps established. I just need to wait my way through that apostate, um, that outlaw stronghold which I saw earlier. Or was it Templar? I forget. Um, and there's a bunch of other stuff to do around here, but I think I'm almost there, and I think I'm fine. Let's just travel back to the crossroads. So, here we go. Get rid of that. Travel crossroads. Here we go. Just be chilling in the meantime with me loading screen, me buddy, me pal. That's a little lengthy. No, oh, there we go. Nope. Okay. Hello? <laughs> yes, there we go. It's doing something. Fine day to you. Right here we go. Hunger pains, handing that in. Hey, complete in the saddle. There it is. Finally, the notification pops up. And again and again and again. Don't bug out, please. Oh, good. <laughs> now this is happening. Hope you guys don't mind an irregular drum beat. Oh, there we go. Aha, here it is. We all did. I could feed half this camp if the hills weren't full of demons. Got him. Here, maybe this will help. It more than helps. With this, I can fill these hungry bellies. Give these folks some hope. I didn't think much of the Inquisition. But no one else is helping like you lot. Maybe I was wrong. Sorry to interrupt you there with our level up. Excellent, excellent. Well, that being that... Look at this, this is looking nice and kind of clear at this point, isn't it? I mean, yeah, we got stuff to do around here, and we will one day. But for now, let's say goodbye to the hinterlands and head back to Haven. And I know I can fast travel via the world map, but sometimes it's nice. I know we've been doing this a lot recently. To mount a horse, to mount Bethany, and she can just guide us out. Bursting back there doesn't sell anything anyway. <sighs> so back in Haven, we'll be able to speak with our advisors again. Uh, let's see now. Wanna head uh pretty much due east. So there's the east road this way. Yeah, back in Haven, consult with our war council meet with the Orlesian Chantry. Chat with our compadres. Not necessarily in that order. In fact, I think I might go back and just chat with people in Haven. Between sessions, I can do more blacksmith stuff, etc, etc. And it does appear that the more banter mod is working and it's not like intruder or anything, which was a worry that I had. That it wouldn't leave me room to commentate, really. I'd be having to stop a train of thought every now and then. Not that there's been too much in the way of trains of thoughts this session. Ah yes, Dragon Town, I remember. Here we go. The Eastern Road. But yeah, we've been getting a, a bit more chats here and there. Away to heaven. Wonder if I can summon my horse inside the fields of heaven. I also know I'll probably need to do some editing at this point because I'm loading a whole new area. 
Well, here we are. I'm here two days later. I cannot sell my horse in this area. Well, that's that question answered then, isn't it? Home sweet haven. Very nice. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm not a big fan of this helmet. <laughs> it's all right, but yeah, start adventure. I just get get rid of it. Especially now you're home. So I wonder what schematics we've uh, we've we've done. I want to just have a, a quick check of these. Obviously, I'll do the nitty gritty of all the upgrading and stuff. A learned child safely. is a blessing upon his parents oh. and onto the maker. Right. Oh wow! Look at all this. I've got the Frostback Mountain Horse of the Asrash. Fast and resilient, these horses are Raveni stalker used by the Canari military for carrying messages to outposts across the war torn island of Saharon. Fierce, loyal, and not quite tame, just the way the Avar prefer. Or I've got the Frelin Forder. Uh, range will be on its namesake. Right, okay. And what, there's Dracolisks? Hearts and exotics? This is very MMO, isn't it? Yeah. Well, this stuff is probably all DLC, so I'll probably shy away from it for the most part, at least for now. Maybe later when it feels more appropriate for me to have an exotic mount, when I feel like I've earned it. I may well listen to that conversation. I guess it was nothing. Alright, so any new armor schematics? The apprentice coat as usual. And, like, I can use more stuff with it. Um, but I do have this kind of Hang on. This uh, apprentice armor now, which is different. And that can be upgraded, so maybe let's switch to this. I quite like it, actually. Um, anything else, like the defender coat, for example. Warrior only. But I think that's pretty much what... Uh, it's a heavy armor one. I think it's pretty much what Cassandra is rocking at the moment, right? You are currently in possession of Defender Mail, which is 82 armor rating. Okay, so you just need to make sure that the Defender Coat is 92 armor rating. Makes sense. Um, hang on. Can I maybe change it? Yeah, Cassandra. Cassandra can craft this herself. Oh, and this gets her back in her look as well, which is cool. Alright, so this is the uh, armor slot. So this is the primary slot, uh, which will give us low armor rating damage. Okay. Anything which isn't low armor rating? I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's just do the one that we have the most of. It's all low at this point, so iron. And uh, as for the, your utility slot... Uh, strength, constitution, strength, strength, and this does constitution, but I don't have enough of it. Um, I think, again, like, we don't want to use up the stuff that we've got not so much of. Uh, let's see. Low armor rating and damage. Oh, no, no, strength. Don't want strength or do I want constitution? It's our tank, so actually I will use the drake stone. There we go. Nice enduring defender coat. Um, should we give it a name? <laughs> I don't know how, how long she'll have it. We'll call it, um... Cassandra's... I... Bib. Because <laughs> that! It's an I Bib. We'll call it Seeker's Plate 1. Okay. Why not? I'm probably not going to rename most stuff. And I'm kind of sad to see the uh, that stuff go as well, because it is cool. And uh, I guess I'll give her Defender Coat Arms and stuff like that later. In the meantime... Uh, so I can modify my Apprentice Armor now. Um, but I don't have the upgrades for the arms, so I should probably create those. Shut up. I shall create Apprentice Male Arms. Yeah, I really do not like how that, like, the color of, like, the the, sh the pauldrons here. But whatever, like, it's, you know, it's what we gotta do. Uh, utility and defense. So, utility. Yep, utility plus one, willpower plus one, magic. Played weave, magic, willpower, velveteen, magic. Uh, let's see. Let's give it some... 
power with some lamb's wool. Does that change anything? No, it doesn't seem to. With some lamb's wool. And as for the defense, uh, let's see, defense slot, range defense, cold damage resistance, deep stock has a chance, thunder, attacker on being hit. Okay, interesting. Uh, fire damage resistance, fennec fur. Yep, from the one fennec we ever killed. <laughs> range defense, range defense. I'm at range for the most part, so yeah, just um, Okay, hang on, is that really, that's really rare, so let's just do it. Uh, I guess it's all kind of rare. So let's give it the, let's give it the nug skin, why the hell not? Yeah, I don't really, whoops, I don't really care. Like, maybe I'm gonna make, like, my magnum opus armor, it'll be different, but for now. Light arms, and imbued that thing. Confirm the upgrades. And then as for the sigil, I think I only have one, which is this Chevalier Sigil, front armor. Uh, minus 50% all other armor, which will be good when I'm, whenever I'm facing my attackers, but if I get surrounded, I'm in trouble. It's not necessarily not worth having for a mage who stays at range, because that's certainly who it's designed for, but I wouldn't really know what to do with it myself. As for this other stuff, yeah, there's, there's, I mean, Seeker's Plate. There's not too much else, is there? Looks fine. So I'm now wearing the apprentice armor, which is excellent. Can I craft any weapons? Leaf Mace Apprentice Staff. What does this do these days? 32 DPS, not very good. Not very good, that's fine. Uh And nothing worth Another time. enhancing there. Still, got myself a new bit of armor. And let's go chat with the folks. So I think Cassandra's down here. How's Cassandra doing? It occurs to me I don't actually know much about you. Hmm. What do you want to know? I'm not sure. Where are you from? Well, that's nice of you to say. I don't know. I have no real reason to to lie to her, so I'm just gonna be honest. Um, I mean, yeah, you didn't investigate. I thought you knew that. I suppose I could ask Liliana. She has collected a frightening amount of information on you, <laughs> but I don't want to ask her. I want to hear it from you. Well, that's very sweet. The circle of magi at Ostwick, at least until the rebellion began. Yes, I suppose that would have required you to stay on the move. <laughs> Tell me, do you consider the free march as your home? Are you eager to go back? Uh, let's see. I don't have a choice. Home is wherever I am. Are you eager to go back? To the circle? I'm eager to go back to how things were back then. But no, for me, home is wherever I am, and there is this feeling that even if I, I'm, uh, eventually, perhaps, maybe actually, because the Oswick Circle was good to, good to me. But at the same time, I'm kind of starting to feel at home around the place. You know, home is wherever I am. I'm that, despite, or maybe because of being cooped up in the circle, being in amongst the world is kind of nice. Wherever I am is home enough for me. That's how I feel now. After years of tending to business for the Divine. Hmm. Alright, let's find out more about you. I'd like to get to know you better. You would? Is that a problem? Not entirely. I'm just curious as to your motivation. Let's be closer, just being friendly and suspicious. I mean, yeah. Is there any harm in us becoming a little closer? Plenty. Is that right? <laughs> As you wish. My name is Cassandra Pentagast, daughter of the Royal House of Navarra, 78th in line for the Navarran throne. Wow. I joined the Seekers of Truth <laughs> as a young woman and was with the Order until they withdrew from the Chantry. I remained as the Divine's right hand, carrying out her order to form the Inquisition. And here we are. That's all there is to know, my lord. My lord? You're very formal all, all of a sudden. I know you work for the Divine, but let's, let's, uh, let's see about that. So you were the right hand to the Divine? To Divine Justinia, yes. And Divine Beatrix before her, in fact. The position is normally reserved for Templars of the Knights Divine, but my circumstances were unusual. Right. Unusual how? You don't know the story? Thank the Maker. <laughs> I will tell you if you wish, 
But it isn't as exciting as some drum it up to be. The short version is that I once saved the previous Divine's life. My reward was becoming her right hand. Right. What is a right hand? But what does a right hand do exactly? What is your hand capable of? <laughs> it gives, it takes, it beckons. It makes a fist. Liliana and I extended the Divine's reach beyond the Grand Cathedral. I see. We went where she could not. After Beatrix, I was tired of the position and wanted to return to the Seekers. But Justinia convinced me to stay. Her vision for the future gave me hope. You believed in her then? You thought she could really change things? Justinian knew the war was coming long before it began. She tried to avert it, but the forces arrayed against her were too strong. Mm. Sometimes you have to break a bone so it can be reset. That's where the Inquisition comes in. It was to be the answer. A means to preserve as well as an agent for change. I only wish she had lived to see it. Right, yeah. So she did set this up in advance. Not necessarily for the Rift in the Sky purposes, but... In case you needed to take more direct action in regards to the war. So royalty, huh? Kind of. You're a member of Navarra's royal family. The Pentagasts are a very large clan. Half of Cumberland could say the same. Mm. Really? No, but it feels that way. I have hundreds of relatives so distant they need charts to prove we're related at all. And they have them. Oh yes. The Pentagasts value their precious blood like it runs with gold. <laughs> right, right. Is that why you left? And you joined the Seekers to get away from that? It was a life worth getting away from. Hmm. The Pentagasts are famed for dragon hunting, but few actually pursue the craft. Most are fat and lazy. They pay lip service to the Maker and care only for idle pleasures and past glories. My brother was all that kept me in Navarra. Once he was gone, so was I. Hmm. I can't move the camera, look. We... Right. And what happened? Tell me about your brother. I would prefer not to speak of Anthony. Another time, perhaps. Okay, sure, didn't mean to pry. That's all for now. I'll let you get back to work. And there's other stuff, but um, I'm going to space these conversation trees out just a little bit. Yeah. Some merchants around. What's like a Walk safely, exclamation Hunter. mark in here? That's what I think it is. Oh, special shipment. What have I got? Oh, I guess nothing came in. Maybe this is my home, you know? Maybe this is what it's meant to be. Whatever. Whenever I rest, my head is where I sleep. Rifts. Thanks. Um, there's a crafting thing over there. I guess it's the blacksmith. Back. Hey. Need something? Hmm. Yeah, we've been we've been. I want to save this for a special occasion. We've been uh, dealing with this a little bit. What's your thoughts? I want to know more about Red Lyrium. I'll tell you what I can. Oh, okay. I think that's enough on Red Lyrium. <laughs> yeah, not really my favorite subject. Yeah, I guess I asked about that before. Need something? Can I ask you something, Varric? You want to talk about me? I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. <laughs> Thanks, Varric. That's okay. No problem. That's okay. We can ask about Hawk. We'll do that soon, but um, I don't really have too much in the way of time, and I don't want to get hung up on stuff at the moment. In fact, that really does apply. Like, I'm really running up against my time limit. I don't want to rush these conversations. Maybe we'll start the next session by chatting with a few people. This is like a problem which is maybe best left for another time. <laughs> Let's head into the tavern. Just returning the cups, Flissa. Thank you for bringing us drinks. Once we were. Could be better. <laughs> Hmm. That's nice. Ah, 
guys, in this episode we've done some more stuff on the hinterlands, mainly revolving around horses. Wonderful, plucky horses. In the next session, there appears to be some situations brewing here which we need to deal with. Fun, fun. In between sessions, we're going to go to the blacksmith and upgrade shit. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Wow, I'm shiny in this light. <laughs> and I will see you in the next episode.